Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Joe CP back here today. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys some lockdown split close defense to stop the ram the wham, the stretch. Uh, the tight end angle, the bench, all that shit, all that annoying shit. I know you guys have been running that a lot. I feel like it's the most popular formation I've ran into besides split close, and I already did a video on that. So check out my last video below. I my two two videos ago because the last video was me playing somebody else. Go check out all my videos because I'm, I'm gonna show you guys all this lockdown stuff. This is uh, video number two in the lockdown series of how to lock down the most popular formations that you will see in my head to head or just in general. So um, nickel three d five odd is what I like to run. It's the most popular defensive formation I've seen so far. Uh, I actually have a couple of blitzes that I uh, do that are really good, but I'm not going to be showing you guys that today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a different form of a blitz out of pinch O and also some cover four drop that's going to be able to lock down everything out of deuce close pretty easy and simple. Now, for my coach suggestions, well, not my coach adjustments, my fault. For my coach adjustments, my like, I think it's the most important thing. I will stress this a lot throughout my channel. You guys already know. I tell you guys every single video against every defense. I have different guys moving around depending on what they're doing. So if you have a mutt team, uh, you know, one time you'll have for one of my defenses, you may have a really good zone corner here, or one time you have a really good man corner. So it just depends. So I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna have a really good man all secondary. You need a man secondary. I'm gonna be sending a man blitz. You don't want to get beat. The blitz is gonna come come in. You know, by the the blitz is gonna come in by the time that uh you know anything gets developed deep. But even if so, I'll show you guys how to lock everything down and you'll be good to go. So um, I have good man corners here. Your user is gonna be here, and um, that's really it. So you want to go ahead and go into pinch O. And I run this like once in a while just to like, because this year I feel like, especially I do close and just in general, once you get them into a long situation, it's kind of over. So once you stop the once you stop the run, let's just say they run it on first down with like a stretch or a whim, and then you stop the pass, and maybe you get a sack, then it's a third down that you can go into the cover four. I like to actually run the cover four a lot more like I, uh, than I like to run this, but I'm going to show you guys the blitz that I use once in a while to go ahead and lock down when need be. So what you're going to do is let's go into a whim. And automatically coming right off the bat, I like the baseline and press. Then you want to bring these safeties down in the box. This is huge. This is very, very important to bring at least one safety down. I understand if he's quick hiking you and you get quick hiked the first time, then don't do it again. But I'm trying to tell y'all that you need to bring your safeties down. This is huge. Reason being is if they run bench, these safeties will play that out route with high man coverage. You need to bring them down. You also, for the tight end angle, they're going to jump it too. So you also make sure to do that. Then what I want to do is I want to pinch my D line. I want to spread them. Well, uh, yeah, I want to spread them out. And then I want to go ahead and QB contain. QB, QB contain definitely stops the stretch. Now, the reason being is I brought these guys in the box. This wham, you got to blow this up with your user. Just like the power o video for split close. Once this blocker comes in, you see that I had that chance. I just didn't make the tackle. But I'm going to show you guys in the instant replay. I'll do. Uh, I'll show you guys right now. That there's always going to, as long as your user hits a blocker, there's always going to be a free man. Look at this. Right? This tight end motion's over. Correct? This guy is man this guy right here is manned up to the tight end. So once this guy moves over, this safety is free play. He just goes and grabs a blocker. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes he'll shoot the gap, sometimes he'll grab a blocker. But what does that mean? This dude is free, which means he'll just be able to sit there and wrap up. You'll be good to go. Now, if you guys didn't if you guys notice, bad user stick by me here, but if I can shoot the gap the right way, I picked the wrong hole. There's no one that's blocking me. Right? Because on this, on this side, this tight end isn't blocking anybody. He's trying to get to me. There's no way he's going to get to me in time. So I messed up on my user. If I hit this left guard gap, it's a loss in the backfield. So I'd say you definitely want to go ahead and practice it. You know, because once you go ahead and practice it, you'll get way better at shooting the gaps, anticipating. But again, you see, I definitely want to bring these dudes in the box. Setup is perfect. These, these guys will bring in the box. I don't know why he does that. But go ahead. Hike the ball. I'm going to shoot this right guard gap this time. And you see, it doesn't even matter. You bounce him outside. You got yourself a corner. As long as he makes the wrap up, we're good to go. I'll show you guys one more time. That I mean, this is an easy way to stop the whim. I'm trying to tell you, it's an easy way to stop the whim. As you see that time, and I'm going to show you guys, I shot that right guard gap, but this time the right guard picked me up. And that's honestly what I want because it, it, it you know, it <clears throat> resulted in a loss. See how I, I shot the gap right here. I shoot the gap with the right guard. I honestly want this right guard to look at me. Because now this safety, and look how many people you have free. So let's just say he bounces it to the right. You got this corner. Let's just say he bounces it to the left. You got, th you got this corner. Let's just say he bounces it through the middle, which he tried to do, or go through the middle. You have this linebacker. Everything is locked up. 
this wham is not going anywhere and then i'm gonna show you guys that i mean i can lock up the stretch too and i'm gonna show you guys the pass defense adjustments that i like to do and i still run this blitz but i like to get just a little adjusty out of it because it's really easy in my opinion to stop deuce close um it's like it's just a couple of routes you know it's just a couple of routes in a, con a compressed form and if you're not playing anybody really good then you know the normal kids that are going to spam it they're going to lock they're, you're going to lock them up so then you come in they're going to run the stretch right i've never really had problems with deuce close honestly when i play people which is kind of funny because i know a lot of people have a lot of problems with it but look i'm gonna bring them in the box as soon as i see it's not a wham we're right there everybody is in the backfield it's simple it's easy i'll do it again i bring the safeties in the box qb contain he's gonna hide the ball i'm gonna shoot and either i'm gonna get free or because and i'll show you guys in the replay how big that was for them to cut back yeah i i may have not been able to go free which i didn't you know but with this right guard look at the way this right guard goes this right guard's priority is bouncing outside to block those two linebackers these this db and this linebacker this db and the linebacker are free this right guard's coming to block them but when he sees that i'm about to go ahead and blow this run up as you see he's running he's running he turns he blocks me and now we got two people on the outside versus one unless he jukes both and unless he breaks both tackles or does whatever you know the only person the only running back i've seen do that is bo jackson besides you're playing a bow that's just absolutely completely crushing you it's gonna lock up i'm gonna show you guys one more time and it's simple free man look he juked me i'm still right there so that's an easy way to stop both of the runs make sure that your opponents do have to pass now let's just say he does pass on first and second down i'm gonna explain to you guys why this is super super easy to lock up and the reason being is a lot of kids don't the people that run deuce close a lot of kids aren't that smart they don't look at their player they just spam the plays that people run now tight end angle right you have the corner out you have all that let's just say i'm gonna go ahead and set up but you didn't know that they're running tight end angle right if you have good man corners automatically they're gonna get a good press animation but by the time they hike the ball, and I'm going to sit in this, this left gap right here. By the, by the time they hike the ball, they're going to they're gonna feel some sort of pressure, right? So automatically, they're going to be scrambling. They're going to be like, you see how the computer threw the ball pretty quickly? I would say in this instance, I would lurk only the middle of the field here. There's no way he's going to be able to get a corner route in time. Now, even if the blitz doesn't come in, there's a thing about Madden, if you guys didn't know, where if you're sending five people... You're gonna get sheds. It's a lot quicker. It's like a system where if you send three, you're not gonna get sheds. You send four. It's just in the programming. You send five, you're gonna get a quick shed. In my opinion, all I really wanna lurk here is all I really wanna lurk here is the angle route. Because you see the computer keeps hitting the angle route. You know? So this time I'm gonna lurk the angle route. And now he's gonna dump it down for a loss. And you saw it scream that play. So that's the thing about dudes close. First, the blocking is inconsistent. And second of all, I'll show you guys an instant replay. It screamed up the left side. So the corner came on on the left side. He had to dump it off. This guy is manned up. So that's going to be an easy tackle. This drag ain't getting open. And they're not going to have time to throw this corner out. Now, even if you have good man corners, it's not even going to get open. But he's not going to have time to throw the corner out. And I'm using this the angle route. Everything is boxed up. It's pretty simple and easy. I'm going to show you guys again. Uh, no, no. So again, the setup, baseline, press. Um, you want to pinch your D-line, crash out, QB contain, and bring your safeties in the box. And you see, just like that, he had to dump down again. It's simple. You know, that's how... And the kids aren't going to make reads like that because that guy's manned up. So for the most part, they're going to get screamed at. By the time that corner route gets open, you're going to be able to use this tight end angle, and it, it's going to be a loss. They're not going to be able to do anything. I have this angle route. I have this angle route. I have this angle route. That time he dotted me, but in, even if so, that's you, you see for the most part, and he didn't even get his freedom balance, it's not going to happen. But I don't like to even spam this. I'm going to tell you guys this right here and right now. I don't like running this a lot. Run this once in a while. Maybe if you guys need a crunch time situation, maybe it's third down. You see the read that he made? Like, you know, it, it's quick. It's going to come in, but I don't even like to run it like that. I like to run, and I'm going to show you guys my favorite pass defense out of that. That was more the run D, but even if this cover four drop is going to lock down everything. So let's just say someone wants to go ahead and run the wham in this cover four drop, right? You want to go ahead and base a line, press. Uh, I like to pinch my D line, and then I like to bring this guy back in the box and uh, play hard flats. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple of reasons why this is so good. Now, uh, I like to pinch down, too, because I don't like the QB contain angles just because they're going to be able to wham you. And you want to shoot this gap when he hikes the ball. 
like I always tell you guys to, and we're in the backfield with three different people, or we're not, at least we're not letting them run with three different people. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. You want a baseline, press, pinch your D-line, crash down, bring your safety here, play underneath coverage. You wanna go ahead and shoot that left guard gap, and your safety is gonna come down and hit him. The reason why is when you do this, your run fit, your run fit switch. I wish I could show you guys the run fits, but you just want to put him right here. Your run fit switch, and he's crashing down, and he wants to go ahead and hit him. So again, I'm gonna shoot this gap myself. I mean, I don't know where he's gonna go with that. Now, the pass defense out of this. This is the crazy stuff. The reason being, I went underneath is because if you guys didn't know, when you run cover four and you press down. The corner routes are not going to get open against deep boots. As much as the kids want to spam them, they may get open on the sideline, and that's a reach. So I'm going to go ahead and run. They're running bench right now. You know, the infamous bench play, the two corner routes. I got the two I got the two out routes. That's a hard flat. If they make that read, I'm absolutely completely fine with it. I mean, worst case scenario, I have to go jump that. But honestly, everything's so boxed on this play that I honestly don't know what to do with my user. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, this left out route, right? So now he, he threw the left out route last time. The computer, what was open? I'm going to show you guys the reason why, like I said. Because this year, if you baseline and you press, these two corners are not going to get open. You run this corner route, and look at the way Stephon Gilmore's playing it. He's underneath it. So by the time this dude throws the ball, he's going to react, and he's going to jump it. Same over here. The corner route, they're playing it. Look, look at the way he's looking at him. So if he throws that corner route, it's absolutely completely boxed. You got this yellow. So if he throws that, you'll go home and hit him. And then you got the two hard flats boxed up. It's simple. It's easy. It's not hard whatsoever. Now, let's just say once in a while, and I know it's going to happen. This right corner route gets open, right? You want to move this guy out here, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to lock it up again. But that's in the case that that right side does get open. But if the right side doesn't get open... The computer's boxed because everything, you know, as long as you get a shed, everything is not, everything's guarded. You know, I'm fine with someone having to reroute every play because if you have three good block shedders in my head to head or in salary cap, it's going to get boxed. This corner route, not open because he knows Malcolm Butler is going to jump that. That's why the computer's not throwing that. Same thing. They both have their eyes looking at the, the, the quarterback and they're going to jump that route. I'm going to show you guys that it works against tight end angle too. And that's why I like to run it so much because... It locks down everything. It's not such a big risk like the man blitz, but I do like to mix in the man blitz. Do not get me wrong, guys. Mix in the man blitz. I don't know why I went there. It's so easy. Like, I, I run tight flex so much that I just thought I was running it. But do do not, like, do not forget to run the man blitz, but don't fall in love with the man blitz. I'll tell you guys that right here and right now. Now, on this, I'd probably just use the angle route. You just want to watch the angle route right here. I didn't move my safety in this time, but I just want to watch the angle route. That's the only thing open. I'm fine with that guy getting past the hard flat. That's absolutely fine with me. I promise you that much. Because sometimes you may be able to get a strip there. But even if so, it's more about complain uh it's more about containing it, if anything. So my fault for my phone, guys. So you wanna run it again. And you kinda just wanna bait that. And by the time he throws that at a hard flat, you're good to go. So that's my lockdown defense out of this close. No matter what, either pincho or uh, cover four drop, you wanna go ahead and base align, press. Pinch your D-line, you want to crash out. For the blitz, you want to QB contain, and then you want to bring your safety down in the box. For cover O, you want to bring only your strong safety down, and for your free safety, I mean, for the pinch O blitz, you want to bring your free safety and your strong safety down. Um, thank you guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure to uh, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media that's down below, and peace.